Hello and welcome to Jason Likes Things. Thanks for clicking on the video. As you can see from the title of the video, something a little bit different to the other uploads that I have and not a video that I was actually planning to do. So as you can see from the title, this is going to be a guitar unboxing and first impression. In fact, here's the guitar right here. I've not even opened it. Um, I wasn't planning to do this video because there's loads of guitar unboxings on the internet and do we really need another one? But when I searched for this guitar, on YouTube and on the internet, I found basically nothing. I think there was one video of a guy playing it and it maybe it wasn't the best um, to be able to see with the guitar, it was quite dark. So I thought, you know, why not? Let's do an unboxing, first impressions. This is a pretty affordable guitar. Is it maybe a great guitar to have for your first guitar? Or is it a good spare to have? Um, I've played lots of guitars and I own quite a few, um, a few guitars at the moment, ranging from a couple of hundred a pound to a couple of thousand a pound. So I've got a reasonably good idea of different price points for guitar and what makes a good guitar really. Now the reason I bought this guitar is because I really wanted a project for this year um, and I haven't bought an electric guitar in, in a wee while that I've been happy with. So I thought I'll buy a more affordable guitar and maybe I can swap out parts, put new pickups on it, change the tuners, you know, put different things on it, you know, pimp it out throughout the, pimp it out, uh, kind of, I pimp it out throughout the whole year um, and see what kind of guitar I've got at the end of the year. Plus, when I seen this guitar, it looked pretty cool as well. So, let's get to unboxing. Okay, here I am, a bit of a lower angle here to get a better look. I will say, so the way we're going to do this is I'll unbox it, we'll have a look at it, I'll do some close ups on the GoPro that's charging right now. And then, for a little bit of first impressions, I will plug it into Logic Pro just directly into the computer of an interface and we'll get a couple of clean tones, a couple of crunch tones uh, and see see what the guitar's like. So as I said, there was next to no information about this guitar at all um, on the internet. So I'm pretty sure it's a brand that is for Gear For Music. If you don't know Gear For Music, it is a British UK company um, and it specialises in music equipment. It has loads on the website. If you're in the UK, go and check it out. I don't know if they ship internationally or not. Um, but they have quite a few own brand sort of things that they sell. This brand being one of them. Now the thing that drew me to this brand is there was lots of different kind of unusual body shapes and colours that you maybe don't get unless you spend a lot more money. So that's what kind of drew me. It seemed like an, a cool kind of pretty rock and roll punk guitar um, to, get, to try and kind of upgrade throughout the year. Um, unless it doesn't need it, if it's just rocking right away, then happy days. Right, let's get this open. Yeah, so here's the brand here. If I pick it up, Heartwood. Heartwood is the name brand. Now this is one of the dearest Heartwood guitars there are. You know, and that makes it sound like it's going to be dead expensive, but this was £250, UK, British, pounds. Um, made in Vietnam. Uh, and I think the dearest guitar was maybe just shy of 300 So if that's the dearest guitar in the range, you know, we've got, we've got an affordable range here. Um, let's continue. Right, so pretty standard affair, if ever you've bought a more affordable guitar, this is what you can expect. You know, the kind of polystyrene cover. Um, it's reasonably well packaged, you know, as I said, this is the first time I opened this, so, you know, I could open this and it could be totally broken right away. Um, time will tell. Comes with an Allen key. Fair, fairly important. If you want to do any neck adjustment, adjustments, adjustments, um, maybe recommend not doing that uh, um, if you if this is your first guitar. Um, getting someone that knows what they're doing with it or, or learning about it then doing it. And how do you like my backdrop? Got the, the, the red curtain. I know you can see a bit of the wall, but hey, it's just part of it, eh? Are there any other guitar players watching this? You know, do you enjoy a new guitar day? I mean, everyone does. It doesn't matter if it's a hundred pound guitar or a thousand pound guitar. It's just exciting, isn't it? I keep looking at myself instead of the actual lens, so apologies if I keep looking at to the side. Just try to make sure it's in focus. I've got it set to a face autofocus. Every time I look away, the face goes. So apologies if it goes in that focus. It's a new camera. Okay, okay. First impressions are quite cool. 
Um, right, I've, I've held John for too long. Let, let's have a look at the guitar. Yep, so that is all you get in the guitar. You get an Allen key and, and then nothing else. But here's the guitar. Back to the lens. Lens, not me. Lens. Here we have it. Here we have the guitar. The Hartwood... The Hartwood... I forgot the name of the guy. I think it's a, a, a Hartwood Ranger. I'm going to look it up. My mistake, it's a Hartwood Charger and this is called Strawberry Milkshake Finish. I'm going to get some close-ups of this that I'll lay over this right now as I'm talking. Um, I might get a bit of prime lens action as well just to be able to see it a bit better. Um, in fact, I will do exactly that. But there are a few things. So let's initially look at this. I mean, it looks great. I mean, it's pretty... This is pretty rock and roll. Yeah, that's a cool. That's a, I've always wanted a pink slash purple or kind of that colour of guitar. Um, I do like the colour pink and you just don't see that many pink guitars. Um, so let's go through some of the features. Okay, so we've got an older body. Um, I've got my laptop here, I'm just reading off of that. An offset shape, as we call it. You know, it's kind of cool, almost Jaguar shape. Gloss body, seven ply vintage black and white scratch plate. It's a roasted maple set neck, and for this price, the neck joint, you know, it's a satin neck. The neck is not finished with any sort of gloss, which I much prefer. Glossy can get a bit sticky with your hands. But have a look at this neck joint. If we're seeing if I bring my face up close. You see that neck joint? It is really, really nice how that's been set into the body. We've got white perloid inlays, block inlays, and the old first fret inlay, which I always said, you know, it's a sign of a good guitar when you've got the old first fret inlay. <laughs> um, apparently we've got a bone nut on the guitar, medium jumbo frets, 24 frets, 14 inch fret fingerboard radius. The fingerboard material is thermally treated maple ply. Um, so obviously the word ply, you know, can put, put people off, you know, hearing plywood guitars. But this guitar itself, now this is a solid older body and it's actually, it's got a bit of heft to it. There's no weight relief in here. Um, it's pretty solid. You can hear that, I think. Um, but yeah, treated maple ply fingerboard. As expected for this price, there is no branded humbuckers. They are just called chrome humbuckers chrome covered humbuckers, standard humbuckers, but I've always like this look where you can see in the wee, the wee divots in between. Um, again, these are one of the first things that I'll probably take out and put something else in in a few months when I can actually afford to. Um, Three-way selector switch, which feels not bad, actually. It's the whole video me doing that. Feels quite good. One volume, one tone, so we've not got the kind of same tonal uh, capabilities as an SG or a, you know, a Les Paul, any of those kind of Gibson guitars. I've got one overall tone, one overall volume, all the way around, one overall volume, one overall tone. And the pots feel really, really good. Mmm, I can't really get that, but there's a lot of resistance there. Feels feels really cool. Um, and what I thought was crazy for this price, we don't know how good they are, but it comes with locking tuners on the neck. Look at those. Again, I'll get some prime lens close-ups. Um, locking tuners? There's not many guitars at this price point that have locking tuners, I would really say. Frets feel great. No sharp. No sharp frets there. You know, fret bars. Goodness. The actual fret itself, there's tiny scuff marks at the back end here. Yeah, as it, as it meets the neck pickup. Scuff marks here, someone's obviously just went a wee bit haphazardly over it with the old file. Um, but again, 250, it's not that big a deal. Um, all the hardware looks fine, it'll just be pretty standard. The headstock, everything's, everything's really nice. Like I think, although we do have, the, the logo has been rubbed off ever so slightly. So if you're gonna be really, really proud of that Hartwood logo, then maybe, you know, ask for another one, or be aware of that. Not not really an issue for me. We have a look at this here. It's just a wicked cool headstock. Wicked cool. I've always loved a headstock on a guitar that is the same colour as the body. 
you know, that's, that is, it's always been amazingly cool. One quite big imperfection. Can I rub that off? Nope, that's there to stay. We've got one imperfection on the back where it looks like a little bit of paint. Let's see if I, if I turn my light down here. A little bit of paint, there you go, you can see it there, has leaked, it looks like, and dripped. That ain't coming out. Um, is it going to bother me? Turn this back up. Uh, not going to bother me at all. I don't care. Um, I'm actually surprised there was not more imperfections. The neck joint feels good. The neck feels really good. It's got a serial number here. Serial number 124847000657. Made in Vietnam. And it's got a little bit Do Not Bin logo in the back. Why would you bin a nice guitar like this? Yeah, listen. I am chuffed. Nice and in tune as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to plug it into Logic, as I said, and we're going to have a little blast through some different tones. Um, and let's see if these... Uh, we've not tested if the guitar works yet. Um, so we're going to test all that, test the electronics, see if the volume and tone, you know, in some cheaper guitars, the volume stays the same up to about 7, then it does everything from 7 to 10, and the same with the tone. So we'll see if there's quite good tonal variation here. Let's get this plugged in, tuned up and toned. I'm back. I've been playing with it. I like it. It has issues. We're going to go over them. Because we're honest. We need to be honest. But for the money, if they're all like this, quality wise, I'd be interested in getting gear for music if you watch this. Send me, send me another guitar. Uh, send me another Heartwood guitar. I'll give it right back promise. I want to see what the quality is like across that range because if they're all like this then more people need to be buying these guitars. There's my quote. Right, the issues. The volume. By the way we're just set to a kind of clean clean studio stack. It's called on Logic. Okay. It would help if I was recording on Logic. Okay, we're going to record. It's, it's actually really, it's quite good. Um, as I say, a lot of the time it goes from you know, 7 to 10 without much indication, but man. It's quite smooth. And the same can be said for the tone, if I do another G chord here. The only thing you might notice there is a bit crackly. Tone all the way down. It's really not bad. The only thing I'd say the tone almost works like a kind of volume. Sometimes that happens in some more affordable guitars. I don't want to say cheap because everyone has a different budget and I would not call this a cheap guitar. Cheap has a negative connotation to make it sound nasty. This is affordable. Affordable goodness. Which was my nickname in high school. <laughs> um, so I kind of boost a wee bit of the volume, that. Very, very nice. So I'll walk you through a little bit of tone. Okay, that was on um, the neck pickup. We still are on the neck pickup. Uh, I'm going to put it down so I can actually play it a bit better. Apologies, you can't maybe see it. But this is the tone section. Go back if you want to see it close up. So I've written wide open at 10. Now this is the neck pickup. Nice and warm, you know, you could back off that tone if it's still a bit harsh, you know. Really quite nice. Uh, both pick I keep going up there. Both pickups together. Uh, tone full, all that joy.
nice. It's a nice sound. It really is. And um, bridge pickup, same sort of thing. A lot of giant. I mean, both together. Bridge. Weird enough, both together. Both together sounds a bit brighter, doesn't it? I wonder if it's wired. Wrong. No, if it's got the warmth. Anyway, both together. Uh, no, bridge pickup, sorry. It's nice, you know, and that's, that's a tiny bit of reverb on that, but that's just straight in, guitar straight in. I think it sounds really nice, but the reason I bought this guitar is to rock out on it. Now, I've got a kind of pretty driven tone here, um, and I think the guitar sounds great. We're going to go right to the bridge pickup, but we'll, actually, no, we'll go back. We'll go neck, and then we'll go back. Right, this is us now on the dirty, the dirty, the naughty tone. Um, this is double driven, and I've, I've tweaked it slightly a bit of spring reverb on it um, and it sounds you know like this now I've got it set up to sound a bit nasty like that so it's not just the guitar um, doing that I can guarantee if I had my Les Paul in here it would sound reasonably similar um, but I think it sounds great <laughs> Sounds great. Um, both pickups together. Bridge pickup. Excuse the plane, but I think it sounds great. And for that sound, that nasty rock and roll, um, it really does sound pretty, pretty fantabulous. Um, I do say I, you can roll the tone back on that dirty if you uh, if you want. So you can get, man, there's, there's, there's tones in there. I think it sounds brilliant. I really do. I think for the price you're paying, take the volume down, for 249 plus £3 odd shipping or whatever it is, 7 89 for next day shipping, uh, I have not played. The remains to be seen, this is a first impression. I'll come back with a, a proper review at some point. Something might fall off. Um, but it doesn't feel like it, it feels proper and I have not played a nicer guitar for that price point. £250 does not buy you an awful lot of guitar. We're looking at some of the cheaper Epiphones, some of the cheaper Squires and I've played a few of the 
more affordable squires and they're all they're, they're not great um that being said on the flip side if you put a hundred pound more into a guitar and you're talking 350 there's guitars that i think would blow this out of the water maybe although even then i think it sounds good but you might get better components in them from a few of the kind of bigger brands but for what we're doing right here for this money and for the way this looks as well it might not be to everyone's taste but there's not many guitars that look like this for that price point um i'm buzzing about it um i want gear for music guys if you're listening seriously you've got a fan now you've got someone bought into the system um i'd love to play a few of the other heartwood guitars uh, i just wish i had the money to buy others um but i don't but lock and tuners you know that lovely set neck you know and it's dead smooth as well it is lovely um satin finish neck which is a, a total dream to play it really does feel nice and the intonation as you heard there um it's quite good all the way up the neck you know i'm no longer recording on logic so you won't you won't have heard that for that but you know you can trust me the intonation there it's pretty good so it's a bit of tuning you know again you can just adjust that yourself anyway you know stop you know, Tunematic Bridge, Lil Gibson, and I want a guitar to upgrade, but now I'm even thinking, does it need it? Maybe the pickups get something in there. Um, but, hey, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been quite a long video. Um, I'll see you next time. If you do want to see more of the guitar, or if you have any questions about how it feels, if you're unsure about if you want to buy stuff, um, I've been a guitar player for quite a long time, studied at college, taught people guitar. Um, I know a little bit hopefully, about guitar. If you have any questions, you know, let me know. I'll answer them. Um, let me know if you've got one of these or you've been looking at the Heartwood stuff. I would recommend it. Um, take care, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.